Trigger warning, this video is going to be slightly different from what we usually do, but we have done videos on theme parks before, so we'll get through this together. Disneyland isn't known for its mysteries and ghosts, although there are tons of both in all the parks, but one of the biggest mysteries plagued park goers for over 40 years. Today we learn the answer to the question you probably never asked, what happened to the hatbox ghost in the Haunted Mansion? Walt Disney had always wanted a haunted house attraction in his theme park, and the Haunted Mansion concept dates back to the early 1950s before Disneyland was even built. In 1961, handbills announcing a 1963 opening of the Haunted Mansion were given out at Disneyland's main entrance. There was a preview of the attraction in a 1965 episode of Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, but the attraction itself would not open until 1969. One of the reasons it took so long to be completed was because Walt called all hands on deck to prepare for the 1964-65 World's Fair in New York. Walt Disney would pass away in 1966 and his team would set to work finishing the attraction Walt never got to see. Employees tested the ride on August 6th, 7th, and the 8th, followed by soft openings on August 9th and 10th where limited numbers of park guests were allowed to ride the ride. A midnight press event was held on the evening of August 11th and the Haunted Mansion opened to all guests August 12, 1969. The attraction was a huge hit, but one of the effects didn't work right and was taken out. Or was it there on opening day? This is where the mystery of the Hatbox Ghost begins. The idea behind the Hatbox Ghost figure was for the, its head to vanish from atop its shoulders and reappear alternately inside the Hatbox. Several early photos of this animatronic during the designing process exist, and it looks pretty cool and there were high hopes that this effect would scare and impress guests on opening day. Unfortunately, that wouldn't happen. According to Imagineer Chris Merritt in an interview with DoomBuggies.com, the effect was never completely successful due to the illusion's close proximity to the ride vehicles. The gag was based purely on lighting. The ghost's head was illuminated by black lighting. A light inside the hatbox he held would rhythmically illuminate and hide the head in the hatbox, while in tandem, the actual head on the ghost's shoulders would be hidden by extinguishing the black lighting. So we know the animatronic was at least present for the employee test, but did it make it to opening day? As soon as the employee tests were over, it was quickly realized that the effect of the head reappearing into the box didn't look good, and several attempts were made to try and fix the effect before the soft openings on August 9th. After a few months, the animatronic was removed from the ride. So did that sentence answer the question? It wasn't taken out before August 9th, right? People had speculated on this for years, but we finally got confirmation when the then Senior Vice President of Creative Development at Walt Disney Imagineering, that's a lot, trust me, Tony Baxter displayed an attraction maintenance slip that lists the original Hatbox Ghost with the other ride maintenance list, which confirms that it was in the ride after opening day on August 9th. There isn't an exact date when the Hatbox Ghost was taken out, but it more than likely lasted until mid to late fall of 1969. It's not clear what happened to the original animatronic after it was taken out, but there are several theories behind what happened to it. The Hatbox Ghost Mystery is one of the most interesting Disneyland mysteries, and even though it has been solved, the story still interests people and gives a happy ending to Disney fans. In 2015, Disney brought back the iconic Hatbox Ghost and has been a fan favorite ever since returning to the mansion it once helped open in 1969. Thank you all for watching this video, and would you like to see us do more videos like this? Like I said at the start, it's very different from what we usually do, but it's still an interesting subject to talk about, and it is technically dealing with ghosts, just animatronic ghosts, and it is a good mystery, which is something that we cover on the channel. So once again, thank you all for watching the video. I'm Jake from Fife Paranormal. Have a great day, everyone.